hello everyone how is it going welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to integrate Terrain css with your react native project so with that said let's jump right in so we always used to start or initialize our project with expo init what we like to name your app expo native wind you can go ahead and name it whatever you want So in here it will start downloading the template and also install some javascript dependencies as well let's wait for a while so now that we have a successful installation let's change the directory to our folder that has expo native wind and open that in vs code So let's head towards the native win documentation. So basically the native win uses the Terrain CSS as a scripting language to create a universal styling system. So for a quick start, let's choose the expo and see how it's being done. So we need to create an expo project. We've already done that. You also need to install the native win and also the Terrain CSS as a dev dependency. So I'll copy that and paste it on the command line so you can see we have a successful installation in here so when we open the package.json file we can see our native when in the tailwind css has been installed successfully so the next step we need to set up our tailwind css and to do that we need to run mps tailwind css init to create the tailwind.config.js file So we need to modify the content with the following path. So I'll copy that and replace the content above. So lastly, we need to modify the bubble.config.js by adding the native plugins. So basically that's it, you can start writing the code. We can get rid of the star sheet and also the silence in here and start with the class name and proceed by giving it a flex of one. Items to be at the center and also justify center and bg-white. Let's start the test with a green color and run yarn start to start the app. there we go we can see the changes in here so basically that's it if you found this tutorial to be useful and interesting consider subscribing by hitting the bell icon see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned